Greetings programmers. I want to talk about the eight queens problem right now. So we'll just talk about that in general. The eight queens puzzle is a chess puzzle. Uh, we see a chess board over here on the side and the challenge is to place eight queens on the chess board such that none of them endanger any of the others. So uh, queens can attack um, across any row, they can attack in any column, and they can also attack on the diagonals. So if we take a look at any one of these queens, this is one of the solutions to the eight queens problem. We see that, let's say this queen on 8F, um, there are no queens in its row, there are no queens in its column, and there are no queens in its diagonal. And if you go out and check each one of these queens, they all have that uh, same attribute. Uh, Wikipedia has an interesting article on it. Uh, I think it has a little bit of the history in here about the eight queens problem. It's a classical uh, programming problem uh, often used to teach recursion. We're not going to talk about recursion, but I want to make sure people understand uh, what the eight queens problem looks like. So here's several um, solutions uh, to the eight queens problem, and then there are different um, I don't think they repeat like some of the reflections of uh, the chess boards um, with some of the same setups. But you can see there are, you know, several solutions, um, but there's also a lot more um, possibilities uh, for the queens. So there's not, um, there's not that many. There's only uh, 92 distinct solutions uh, for the eight queens problem. And there's um, 16 million um, possible solutions um, that we could go through and solve through brute force. So this is the problem we're going to try to solve uh, with our program. We're going to try to place eight queens on the chessboard without endangering any other queen.